the breakthrough power of favor. I am beautified by grace. Psalm 30 and verse 7 says, Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. In this Bible passage, God uses the metaphor mountain to underscore the force or power that favor wields in the life of its beneficiary. For us to understand, for us to appreciate what God is saying, God had to use something that we can appreciate, something that we can see, something we can relate with. Mountain connotes great strength and stability. Mountain represents a sense of permanence and grounding. Mountain gives us a sense of safety and security. Mountains are significant. Mountains are imposingly awesome and beautiful to behold. So God uses mountain to show us what favor does to our destiny. Favor makes our destinies to be, become significant. We become imposingly awesome. We become beautiful. We become attractive. So we need to understand that favor has breakthrough power. Point to note about the breakthrough power of favor is that favor gives you what you don't deserve. We don't deserve some of the blessings that we enjoy. But favor reserved the blessing for us. There are so many places that we may not be able to enter. But by privilege, be able to enter such places. I have been privileged to pass through the VIP session or the lounge of some of the airports in my country. Looking at my status... I may not be regarded as a VIP then, but by reason of favor of who I was attached to, I was able to pass through the VIP session, giving VIP treatment. All the privileges, all the rights that the person I, I, I accompanied enjoyed, I enjoyed because I was attached to someone that was regarded as a VIP. So, we are connected to Christ. And because we are connected to Christ, we enjoy the same privileges, the same rights, and we are favored everywhere we go. Second Samuel chapter 9, 3 to 8. The Bible says there, And the king said, Is there not yet any of the house of Saul that I may show the kindness of God unto him? And Ziba said unto the king, Jonathan had yet a son, which is lame on his feet. And the king said unto him, Where is he? And Ziba said unto the king, Behold, he is in the house of Micah, the son of Amiel in Lodeba. The king David sent and fetched him out of the house of Micah, the son of Amiel from Lodeba. Someone is coming out of Lodeba this morning. Say, now when Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, was come unto David, he fell on his face and did reverence. And David said, Mephibosheth, and he answered, Behold thy servant. And David said unto him, Fear not, for I will surely show thee kindness. For Jonathan, thy father's sake, and will restore thee all the land of Saul, thy father. And thou shalt eat bread at my table continually. Did you hear that? You shall eat bread on my table continually. This was someone that was lame, ostracized because of his, of his situation. Even though he was from the royal lineage, but he was just garaged in Lodeba. They were just waiting for his death. But the king sent for him. Favor found him. God's favor will find you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Someone is going out and 
the person is going to receive that blessing even though you may not be qualified for it but favor will give it to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ go back to that place you are rejected by reason of God's favor you will come back rejoicing sharing your testimony that you have been selected in Jesus precious name (laughs) 